Hello, 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 you guys. How are you? How are you? <laughs> you guys, does it look familiar? Does it look familiar? Hello, 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 hello. Hi, you guys, and welcome back. This is going to be a real short video for you guys. I wanted to make this video while I, you know, I'm just like really still in the spirit and um, kind of give you guys an idea of what I mean when I'm trying to tell you guys about go with your gut feeling, go with your intuition, go off of what source is telling you, get in alignment. So you guys may know that at the beginning of the year, I moved out of this beautiful, beautiful house, right? And the intention was, of course, to sell the house. And so we didn't sell the house. You guys know I've moved on. I have another house. I have an RV. I got all these lovely, great things, right? And the intention was to sell the house. And of course, we had the house up on the market. But we were just not getting what we wanted for the sale of this house, right? And so some people will get the idea that, okay, just just keep going and lower, reduce the price, reduce the price, reduce the price, keep going lower and lower and lower and lower until you know you just want to sell it, you just want to sell it. And I want to just give you guys this quick message. Go off of your gut. So for instance, with this particular situation, the house was not selling for what I wanted to sell it for. And we had like different investors that were trying to come to us and they were just like, you know, hey, we will buy it for this amount and like, like literally trying to lowball us because they're investors, right? And so at one point, you know, I was kind of getting like insulted, right? Like, are you crazy? Like that house, that, the house is clearly worth, you know, a million dollars. Like, I'm not kidding you guys. This house is clearly valued at close to a million dollars, if not a little bit over a million dollars. We're here in Las Vegas, we're in the Henderson area, right? And so these people just were trying to lowball us, lowball us. And at some, at one point I was starting to get, you know, insulted, like, you know, who are you to be offering me this low price on this beautiful, beautiful freaking house? And then I just like realized it and I just like went to source and I was like, what do I need to do? What should I do? I just finished a meeting to, today, you guys. It was such an amazing, informative meeting. And I'm going to go with this company. But I met up with this property management company. And what they do is they handle all of the needs and maintenance and everything of your house when you want to rent it out. And I went ahead and we shook on it. I'll be signing the contract later on today. And so I just felt good with it. Like in my gut, in my spirit, I was like, this is the right move to just, it's not time to sell, to sell my house right now. It's just not time to sell the house right now. Um, in addition to that, you guys, I, I, when this house was purchased, we got an extremely good interest rate. You guys know the interest rates right now are ridiculous. And so I was just like, source was just telling me, no, Tracy, it is not time to sell this house. You need to hold on to your house, hold on to your house. And so I made the decision today. I'm like, we are, I'm holding on to this house. And so we're just going to go ahead and just uh, rent it out. This beauty. Oh my God. This house. Every time I come back to this house, you guys, to either do maintenance or just to check up on the house or things like that. Just the feeling that I would get in my stomach of just like, great memories and just you know all the updates and things that i did to this house and even when i would come over to the house when we had it on the market i was just like oh my god like like my gut was like i don't feel like it's time to let this house go and so source was just guiding me guiding me guiding me guys and then when i met with this property manager today you guys i was like Oh my freaking God, I felt so good. I just felt so good just knowing that I'm going to keep my house and that it's, no, we're not selling it. We're going to just turn into investors. And now we have, we have investment property, right? So, 
um, insurance and everything has to change from being homeowners to landlord and different changes and things that we need to uh, make. But I was just, I just had such an amazing meeting with this property manager today. She was like, oh, we're, we're going to rent your, she was like, oh, this house is worth a lot. She's like, I'm so glad you took it off the market. She's like, we're going to get you a nice rent on this house. She was like, I already, she's been in the business doing property management for like, I think she said over 20 years, maybe like 25, 26 years. She was like, she, it was, she was just the perfect person. And she was like, oh no. She was like, I treat my houses that, uh, you, you know, we manage. She said, I treat them like my own. And she was like, oh no. She was like, I have a person. We're going to come in here. She was like, we're going to get it like completely clean, picture perfect before the tenants moved in. She was like, when they, when the tenants call in and they have a, a problem or an issue, she was like, oh no, I get, I jump on it as if it's a house of my own. She's like, I'm going to treat this house like I would treat it as if it was my own. And that was just so good to hear. Sorry, the uh, camera's shaking you guys. I'm trying to hold it. My arm's getting tired. But anyway, I just want to come on here real quick, you guys, to just give you guys that message that be ready. Sometimes you need to pivot. Sometimes you need to pivot. Like I went into this thing thinking, you know what? Hello. I went into, you guys remember that, that light up there? Gorgeous. But anyway, um, I went into this thing thinking that I was going to just sell it, just sell it. And then just like I'm always telling you guys, be open to something new. Be Think outside the box. And if I would have just been just like hell bent on, no, 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 no. We just got to sell it. I got to sell it. I got to sell, sell, sell. I could have let this house go for some crazy cheap amount, just trying to get, you know, get it sold. Instead, I just did what I'm always telling you guys, be ready to pivot, be ready to pivot and just be ready to just go a different route. And I just feel so, I mean, like butterflies in my stomach. I feel so giddy and I am so freaking happy. Look at this, guys. This house is freaking just stunning, stunning. This house is stunning. And I was like, no, I felt so good after speaking with this property management. Um, because too, I was thinking, okay, when you rent it out though, all the problems that come with renters and all this kind of stuff. Sorry, guys, it's kind of hot in here. But anyway, um... I was like, you know, I didn't want to do, you know, that whole tenant thing. And she just put my mind and heart at ease. She's like, no, we take care of all of that. She was like, we do inspections twice a year. She was like, before you even leave and put a tenant in here, she said, I have an inspector comes out. He takes over 800 pictures. She said, he takes a picture of every inch of this house. She said, so that way when the, the tenants move out or when they say that, you know, there's a problem, she said, we can refer back to this, this gallery of pictures and say, no, 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 that was not damaged. That was not uh, a problem with that before you moved in. And so she was just, she just really kind of put my heart at ease. I don't have to deal, like that was one of the main things that I was like having to worry about, you know, uh, selling or renting. I'm like, I don't want to have to deal with tenants. I don't want to deal with that. Guys, go with a property management company. Find a good property management company that will treat your house your investment property like they would treat their home. And so she was like, no, no, no. Everything goes through the property management. So I'm like now entering into this new field, you guys, a new business. And um, it just feels so good. It just feels so good. Like the last time I was here, I was kind of feeling a little just icky because I was like, we got this house. We, we dropped this price to Far. I was like, we dropped it too far. Like the minute we dropped it below 800,000, I was like, my stomach was just like, Tracy, that's too low. That's too low. Take it off the market. But I left it on the market for a little bit. And so I was like, so happy when we took the house off the market. And after meeting with this property management company today, I'm just like, oh my God, I feel so good. My gut is just feeling so at ease and so at peace. You guys look at that beautiful pool. You know, we were going to literally, you know, had dropped that price down so low. I'm like, no. So now you guys, I feel so freaking good. I feel so good. I'm so glad that we decided to take it off the market. I'm so glad that we are now going to rent it. I'm so glad that I still am owning the property. It's just that because I wasn't, you guys, I was not ready to let this property go. 
I just have so many great memories in this property. I was like, I, I'm just not ready yet. And so I was like feeling so good today, you guys. And I was like, this, this feels like the right move. I don't have to worry about tenants. I don't have to worry about inspections. I don't have to worry about people tearing up my house. Um, you guys look into this. They, they like do these extensive uh, background checks and uh, credit checks and making sure that these people have never had evictions. Um, like different property management companies have different requirements. Like maybe your credit score needs to be 700 or greater. Uh, you can have no evictions under your name um, because tr uh, Las Vegas is such a transient uh, city. People come and go. You definitely wanna check and make sure that people don't have prior evictions. They check for all this stuff, you guys. It is just, I, I just feel so at ease. Wow, there's a hummingbird over there. Oh, look at my beautiful flowers, you guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And so that was another thing she was saying. She was like, oh my God, Tracy. She was like, the fact that your house doesn't back up and like right across from you is the next neighbor. No, the next neighbor is up the hill, further up the hill like that. So she was like, that is such a good selling point. But anyway, I want to just make this quick message for you guys to just simply say, be ready to pivot. You guys, we are about to come into some very trying times. Be ready to think outside the box and be ready to pivot. And just like that, I went from a regular homeowner with her house on the market to sell to now I'm an investor. <laughs> So now I have investment property, beautiful million dollar investment property. So this is just so amazing. I feel really good about the decision, you guys. And so I just wanted to come on here and just give you guys that quick message to let you guys know and to remind you, be ready to pivot. Be open to thinking outside of the box. Okay, you guys, I will see you on the next one. Be sure to thumbs up the video and like the video and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.